Hey guys and welcome back. It's been a while, I know, but I got a lot of questions on using different kind of themes, using different extensions. So I'm working on a really cool visualization course that uh, a lot of people have been messaging me about. So have a link, check out the link for, um, for that in the description. Now, I just created a video where we took different themes and I want to show how do you actually add different extensions. So if you look at your ClickSense, you go inside your um, edit, you go to custom objects, you go inside over here, you have your click visualization bundle, right? So these are, these are actually extensions, but that are, but they're made by click and it comes with, it kind of comes inbuilt. And over here you have some extensions and these are custom made extensions that you can actually add. So where do you find these extensions? I looked at garden.click.dev. So click develop a garden where there have a, there are a lot of user submitted extensions over here that you could use automatically. But there are also different sites that you could use. Um, there are a lot of companies that have, you know, built their own extensions for specific needs like finance dashboards, Gantt charts and so on. Um, a couple of them are paid, a couple of them are free. Check them out. I'll have the link for all these sites as well. And uh, let's download one over here. So I'm in the Click Garden. So let's just select one. Let's go to code. Let's go to download. And now I have it downloaded. Good. Next, what you have to do is you go. Here you go to your administration and inside administration, you have something called extensions here. So open and go into your extensions and here's where you upload your extension that you just downloaded. So I say add, I go back, I have my extension here. So I click on that, I say upload. And now this new extension that I just downloaded from Click Garden is available here. So it gives me a list of all the extensions that I've installed. So now I can go back, right? I can go into my uh, dashboard that I was building. And you saw that when I was here, there was the, there is no extensions here right now, right? But let me just reload it now since that since I've just uploaded it. And now when I reload it, I go back into my custom objects. And now you see that the new extension that I just downloaded is available here. So I can drag and drop this here and add my different measures and I get the new extension that, well, you have never seen this kind of a, this kind of a graph in ClickSense, right? Because this is a custom made extension that helps you build this kind of um, a different kind of, kind of chart. So if you actually look at all of them, there's quite a lot um, that you could um, download. There are some really cool ones and some not so impressive ones. So have a look this is how you upload extensions like i said there are a couple of sites where you get really really cool ones that can kind of really elevate your dashboard game pretty darn cool right yeah super simple we do it i just got a lot of questions about it so i thought i'd just address it now if you're interested in building really cool dashboards like this like which is super dynamic and um yeah in which you can do a lot of things check out the link in the description below the first few get uh, something really cool. All right, sign up. Super appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.